guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dasha. So first of all, I would like to apologize for not posting video for a long, long time. Uh, it's because I was in Korea last two weeks and I was super busy babysitting. And after I came back to Sydney from Korea, from the very next day, I just had to go to work back again. And finally, it's my day off and I have some time to film video. Yay. So anyways, uh, from this year, I decided to film a video of my favorite and non-favorite products. Yay! So actually, I just have no idea how to film this type of videos because I never did it before. But yeah, let's start it. First, it's Luna Long Lasting Tip Concealer. I bought it from Korea from this trip. Yeah, I didn't really expect much from this concealer. I just wanted to try different products because I always stick to the same products and I thought it might be a little bit boring for you guys to watch. So when I tried this product first, I thought maybe it could replace my NARS Creamy Concealer. Like, it's not that creamy as NARS Creamy Concealer, but the coverage is really pretty good and I like the color and I like the texture. It's not too glowy and it's quite matte. Yeah, and I really like it. So next product is from YSL. I think you guys seen a lot me using this product. So it's Tasha Club. So I usually use it to, you know, define my and define and highlight my brow bone and also when I want to touch up a little bit because it has really light texture it's not creamy as NARS concealer so it's really good to touch up your makeup okay next product is Abamat what is it called perfect multi brush it's 21 pi so I already showed you guys this product but like I just wanted to show you again because I really love it and they re upgraded their handle it's like much better quality than it used to be so as i told you before about this product it's really soft the hair is like super soft and it's really dense also it's really good if you don't have enough time for your makeup you can do really quick yeah i really love it okay next product will be again ysl it's a highlighting finishing powder to be honest i don't think they have it right now i think it's discontinued because it was a limited edition so i use this product as highlighter i don't use it all over my face for like as a finishing powder it's perfect for daily use what i don't really like is the color i don't really use it like i don't i don't take it with me but like um the cover i don't know why actually like Dior, Chanel and YSL do this type of velvet cover because it gets too messy, really too messy. So next product is blush. This is my favorite blush that I've been using a lot for like December and January. And this is from Too Faced Love Blush in Baby Love. Uh, when I first saw it, uh, I expected that it will have this type of pretty nudie browny pink color. But when you open it, it's a little bit darker. In, in camera, it doesn't look like different, but yeah, it is different. It looks really dark. So first, when I saw it, I, I thought that like for a really fair skin tone, it will be too dark and too strong. But it's actually not really. It has like a little bit of gold shimmer in it. It's so pretty. And the color is really perfect for daily use. And I'm using it right now as well. And next, again Too Faced, the chocolate bar is my favorite, favorite eyeshadow palette. So it replaced my Bobbi Brown chocolate palette. Like what I really love about it is the smell. It really smells like chocolate and every time I use this one, I feel like I want to eat chocolate, seriously. I actually tried like a little bit of powder, I know it's weird, but I think it's a little bit sweet. Because they have real cocoa powder in here. And yeah, it actually has a cocoa powder. It says made with 100% natural cocoa powder. That's weird. Who thought that you can make eyeshadow with a cocoa powder? So why I really like it is because they have matte eyeshadow and shima eyeshadow as well. So my favorite shade is this one, milk chocolate, salted caramel, and also creme brulee. Yeah, they have really nice color, but this one, I actually never touched because I don't really use the like um, violet and like cherry color of eyeshadow. 
if you guys are looking for some like neutral color everyday use eyeshadow palette I would really recommend this one yeah okay next is the primer I don't usually use like makeup base a foundation primer eyeshadow primer but this one is like my must-have in every day so it's from Benefit called Air Petrol and it says a BB cream eyelid primer interesting it covers all my you know veins and like dark spots so it makes really perfect base for eyeshadow but I'm not really sure if it's long-lasting but oh also it has SPF 20 and I also really like how the silicone is really soft I never actually apply with this one, I just uh, put some dots on my eyelid and then apply with my fingertip or brush. But yeah, I think they made it really well. Next, let's move to eyeliner. This is what I've been using for years, I think. It's Clio Waterproof Turn Liner Twister in Urban Black. You know when you usually use a liquid eyeliner, so it turns to a like, um, film? and it starts like shine on your eye and it looks really terrible but this one has a matte finish that's why I really love it and it's also waterproof I think no? oh yeah it's waterproof I just said it that it's waterproof so it's waterproof and like for me it never smudged and for the next products I'm going to talk about mascara so these two are my favorite so it's YSL what is it? volume effect it's waterproof, blue one, waterproof. I tried non-waterproof one, but it's not really, it's not for me. It's because I have really straight um, eyelashes, it's not curved naturally. So if I use non-waterproof mascaras, my curl is just going down. Um, and also the brush is uh, quite thin, it's not really huge, so it's perfect for Asian eyes, I think. And also this one is from Too Faced, it's called Better Than Sex Mascara. This one is like, it has a really huge brush, so I don't really use it for like a first coat. How I use it is, first I apply this YSL mascara and I fix my, fix my curl, like this, boom. And then I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and bring that volume and length. It brings like really super crazy volume. But what's bad about it, it's not waterproof. So when I use it just by itself, my, my lashes are just going down. So next I'm going to talk about lip products, my favorite ones. So this is my uh, MAC Pro Longwear Lip pencil in double time this is what I've been using a lot it's a little bit pink brown nude yeah the not really good thing about it is uh, like after you use it's a little bit sticky on your lips but it's not that bothering me the next one is Stila stay all day liquid lipstick in patina the smell is amazing. I really love this creamy texture. It's really easy to apply and also it stays really for a long, long time. It's not sticky as well, so that's why I love it. Whew. I finished for today, finally. And also, um, I'm trying to film my haul video. I don't, I never done this before, but I'm going to show you what I bought in Korea from this trip. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. And I promise you, I will upload video every single day. Seriously, I have to. Okay, love you guys. Bye.